personal trainer and nutritionist. And today I have a dynamic full body stretch or flexibility routine. So I have all sorts of ranges here from something easy to things that are a little more challenging. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to help contribute, you can go to my channel page and the about there is a link for donations. Before we begin, I have an inspirational phrase to share with you. It says, judge your success not by financial gain, but by the degree to which you are enjoying health, peace, and love. These commodities can never be traded or bartered. And I like this because sometimes people think being wealthy means that they're successful. And that doesn't mean that you're enjoying life. There are plenty of wealthy people out there who are unhappy and there are other things as well that just make life more valuable such as feeling peace, happiness, spending time with people you love, whether you're appreciative of the things that you have in life and then there is health and health is very valuable because if you ask any healthy person would they trade their healthy body for a certain dollar amount, it probably would not. And I can tell you that I would not. And this is because the mind, the body, and the spirit, they're all connected. And there are other wonderful things too that come with having a healthy body, such as feelings of pride or accomplishment and um, enjoying movement as in it's not painful. And so with these things, there is um, more to the world than the physical world that we experience. If you've ever looked into Greek mythology and heard about Prometheus and he was bound to the world and that's how I feel about the physical world is sometimes people become so attached to what's here like material gain and power that they lose contact with their soul. And that's, to me, why these particular people end up being corrupted and doing uh, evil things, such as stealing from others and suppressing or oppressing other people. So it's a long spiel, but that's the basic gist of it. So now we can begin our workout. The first thing that we have is a crescent lunge with an arm rotation. And so this is going to help with the mobility of the shoulder and it's going to also stretch the flexor and the hip. So you're going to take a big step forward and here, this is where you're feeling your stretch in your hip flexor. And you're going to increase that stretch by raising your arm up and then swinging around. So as a dynamic movement, because it's a dynamic workout, you step forward, lunge arm, and continue alternating sides. So we're going to alternate for 10. movement which is a tricep lean and it's going to stretch the oblique and it's also going to stretch the tricep and along the side of the shoulder. So you're going to do a basic tricep stretch holding your elbow and then lean and then switch. We're going to alternate for eight. that we have is a pray and lean. This is also going to stretch along the side of the shoulder. So you're going to put your hands in prayer and you're going to push up and lean as far as you can. Come back to center and other side. So I'll also do that for eight. climbing a rope. And so I am going to come down to kneeling because I can 
reach my hands to the ceiling and because you're going to be trying to elongate your body in this exercise then I'm pretty certain that I'll be able to touch it. This room is probably like seven feet tall. So what you're going to do is you're going to imagine a rope above your head and you're going to reach for it and elongate your body to try to reach your hand above your other hand and you should feel a really good stretch along your shoulders especially towards the end of the blades. So we're going to do that for a total of 10. And then we have our next stretch, which is picking apples. And so this is similar, but different. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to reach up to grab an apple, pull it, and then squeeze in. So we're going to alternate for 10. to our next movement which is going to be a hand coil and this is for wrist mobility and it also stretches the muscles of the forearms so what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands in fists and you're going to begin with your backs of your hands together and you're going to roll your hands in each direction so we'll do that for 10 you should feel a good stretch in the back of your wrist And then we're on to our next movement, which is drawing a bow. And this is going to stretch the chest. It also slightly stretches the inner thighs and the hip. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your imaginary bow. And you're going to take a big lunging step to the side while drawing your bow. You want to create tension in your shoulder blade. You should feel the muscle tightening here in your back. And in doing this, you're pulling, which is going to stretch your chest and the shoulder and the front of the arm. So we're going to alternate for 10. to our next movement which is a swimming sink. It's going to stretch the lower side of the oblique and hips. So you're going to put your hands in prayer, you can clasp them, and they're going to be the snake's head and your body represents the snake's body. And you're going to push your hips and your hands the opposite way like so and then switch. So we're going to alternate for eight. Then we're on to our next stretch, which is a spear push. And so there's two ways to do this. There is an easy way and a more challenging way. So the easy way is going to be to have one palm facing down, one palm facing up, and to push in front of you each way. And this is good for the internal and external rotation of the shoulder joints and around the subscapular and scapular area. And then the more challenging way is to go behind, do the same exact thing, and so we're going to do that for a total of 10. Then we're on to our next stretch, which is going to be a yin and yang, so it's going to stretch the shoulders and the inside of the hip. So you're going to plie, and you're going to have your hands on your inside of your legs. You don't want to push on your knees. It's got to be like all your weight being bared into your legs, and maybe like 10 to 20 percent of you supporting yourself in your legs. And you're just going to use that little bit of weight to give yourself some resistance as you roll your shoulder inward. So we're going to alternate for 10. And now we're on 
to our last two stretches, which are the more difficult ones. So the first one is a butterfly twist. And I like to think of this as if you've ever washed anything with a wash rag and you've twisted it. Yeah, it's like doing that to your body. It's like wringing it out. So you're going to rise up on your toes, turn, keep turning, and you're gonna come down like you're going to do a baby grasshopper pose in yoga and reach for your leg. So you have a stretch here in this front hip on the IT band of this leg, and then you feel a slight stretch throughout your body when you're twisting. So we're going to alternate our lunge twist or butterfly twist for a total of six. And then we're going to come down to the ground for a churning hurdler. So you're going to bring one leg back behind you and one in front. So this is a basic hurdler. And then you're going to twist to the opposite side of your leg. Same thing on the other side. And that concludes our full body dynamic stretching routine. I hope you enjoyed.